All right, so this is Owen from Primal RC, and today we're going to show you how to install the brake cables on our V3 monster truck. So again, this chassis is the same between the mega truck, the Raminator, and the Grave Diggers, and the brake cables are all the same on all the models. So uh, this video, this is a uh, Raminator, and we took the body off. The body, there's a few body mounts. There's two in the front, and then you have two on each side. This one actually currently is broken, and then there's four in the back. So you just pop the body off, and then we took the wheels off, obviously, and we have it on these nice wooden work stands. We actually sell these on our website. So now we're ready to put the brake cables on. And so when you get your truck and you're assembling it, the um, calipers and drive shafts go on. They're pretty easy to do. You basically just have to get the caliper on the front and the back. It mounts directly to the axle, just like a real monster truck. And now we're ready to put the cables in. So this could be a little tricky, and uh, especially if it's your first time with a truck. So the first thing I do is I take the cable out of the sheathing. This is literally just a bike brake cable. You see these on <coughs> motorcycles, dirt bikes, um, pretty much everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is just, um, I don't have the uh, cable in the sheath yet. And I'm just going to thread this through the front of the truck. It goes right between the servos here like down in here go straight through and now it's on the other side and then you can see right here is where it needs to go into the caliper so there it's now into almost yeah I think that's all yeah so now we're in the caliper with the, sh the uh, sheath <coughs> all right so now we take the cable and we're gonna put it through the brake caliper so this lever on the caliper is what actually pulls on the brakes so that's the first thing we need to thread this through is this hole and then in between um, this the lever and where the cable is held is where the spring goes so now we're gonna put the spring in it goes through and then you have to get the cable through this little hole on the other side there we go all right so you can see I have the cable going through the spring and now it's slowly working its way up the, uh, the black part of the cable and then eventually it'll come out the end. All right, here we go. So now I have my cable coming out the other end, and then you can see when I pull on it, it's obviously pulling the brake. So now I need to route this up to the brake servo so that we can actually pull on it. So the way that I like to do this is go straight through. This is the Raminator and Mega Truck front bumper. The Grave Digger is a little different, but I just go straight up through the bumper and then over to where the brake servo is. And now we need to get the cable through this part. And you don't, it doesn't really matter if you use the top or the bottom. And there we go. Now sometimes what happens here is the end of the cable can get frayed and it's really hard to put it through this part on the truck. So what you can do is just drill out this hole a little bit and it'll make putting the cable in way easier. So now that I have that, I'm just going to rearrange rearrange the cable so that it's up into the truck. It kind of, the cable comes out right between the, uh, the servo link here. And you can see when I move it, it's not, it's not really hitting the servo. Or the servo doesn't hit the cable. So anyway, we're back up here now. And then this just goes through the top of the um, brake. And now what we want to do is actually turn the truck on and get the remote going. Set it to the right model. So now we're on the right model. So now the brake is, um, I can move it, and basically it's set to the neutral position right now. And sometimes you can see that this cable doesn't really have a lot of, um, there's not a lot of slack sticking out on the end. So what you can do is cut the black sheathing shorter, and that'll give you a little bit more room of the cable sticking out but this is fine for me so you just grab a two millimeter hex for these uh, stop collars stop collar goes on the end and then gets tightened down on the cable and the position of this collar is pretty important and then the last thing is you see how I can't really tighten this it's a little bit difficult um, because the cable moves around so, if you just use a pliers and 
hold the um, hold the stop collar still and then just tighten this as much as you can. That will make sure you get a really nice tight um, mount on your brake cable. So now this is set up and you can see that when I'm in the neutral position I have a little bit of slack. And then also you can see down here on the brake rotor I can actually wiggle this a little bit. So that means that our rotor is floating and the truck is it's not applying the brakes because when we go to the neutral position on the remote we don't want it to be pulling the brakes. So when I give it gas, obviously the servo goes forward. So we're not pulling the brakes and hitting the gas at the same time. And then when I actually go to brake, and push back, you can see it's pulling on the uh, cable. And then down here, you can see we're, we're pulling on the caliper. And you can also just check by trying to move the drive shaft and it should stop. These brakes are super strong because they're on the pinion. Um, and they stop the truck like nothing. So installing the rear cable is very similar. And so again, it's the same on the rear. The rear caliper is exactly the same. It's just on the other side of the truck. And then there, and now we got the cable through. And then we can put the black cable on. So now this one's good and also remember when you put these on, you want the end with the stopper to be on the side of the brake caliper. So the, the cables have this little stopper built into them and that's the one, you want that end on the brake caliper side so we can put the collar on the side where the servo is. And now the last thing is just routing this. You wanna route the cable away from the exhaust. So I go up through the back of the truck here, right behind the gas tank. And then it comes over here and you want to go under these frame rails. So we're just coming under over this way and then around down the whole side of the truck. And now we're in the front and it essentially just kind of loops, does a little U-turn here in the front. And then this cable once again goes through here. So now this is set and then it goes through here. So the cable, one of them goes in the top and one of them goes in the bottom. And then this is just another case of putting the stop collar on. And there we go. And some people like to use two stop collars. We sell extras of these if you want to add a second one. That's just a little bit more uh, insurance to make sure that this is going to not come off. And then the other, the last thing you can do with the brakes is, let me just turn the truck on again. Um, the last thing you can do is our front brake is this top one and our rear brake is the bottom one and you can actually move these collars back and forth to change uh, your brake bias. So you could actually adjust this. Right now you can see it's actually pulling the front brake a little bit before the rear. So you can see this, this um, front one is a lot more tight. It's a lot more taut on the top than it is on the bottom. So we're pulling the front more than we're pulling the rear right now and actually Sometimes you want the rear, especially if you're running on dirt, you want the rear to pull um, first and then the front to pull second. So it's pulling more on the rear brake and that will have a more stable um, braking action. So this is actually a little bit reversed to what you would really want. So basically the way to fix it is I'll turn the truck off again and I just need to move this bottom collar forward. So I'll go in here again to just get access to this one. There. So now I just move that collar a little bit. I'll turn the truck back on. So now you can see that they're both loose and then I start putting the brake on and then right now they're actually pretty much even. Um, if I wanted to I could move this again or I could move the top one and uh, change my brake bias. So right now it's even, that's probably a good place to start. You can always change it later and uh, see what works best for you. But that's, uh, that's all we have for this video and that's how to set up your brakes.